time for another episode of Jack Foreman Pet Psychic. And now, please welcome Pet Psychic Jack Foreman. Thank you, Chaucer the Monkey, and welcome back, everyone. It's me, Jack, your pet psychic. You know, it really isn't possible to, quote, own a pet. You really can't, because a pet is like a member of the family, like your very own animal kids. And as the case with human kids, sometimes animal kids do weird things. That's why I'm here to help. And now let's meet our next pet parents. Joining us all the way from California, say hello to the animal parents known as Laura and Megan. Hi, Laura and Megan. How are you? Good. Woo, perfect unison. Are you two in a family band? That was amazing. No. no. It sounds like it. You sound like the Bee Gees. That's so great. Great harmonizing. Oh, whoa. Okay, you definitely sound like you're in the Bee Gees now. The hairs on the back of my hand just stood up. Uh, tell us, Laura and Megan, are you people or are you pets? People. Okay, that's what I figured. Just making sure. Tell us, who is your animal kid? Teddy. Teddy. Okay, now don't tell us what kind of animal Teddy is. I'm just going to take a wild guess here. I think Teddy is probably a bear. Am I right? Teddy bear? Huh? No. Huh? Oh, okay. That's probably just as well. Having a bear for a pet, not a great idea. What kind of animal is Teddy? He's a dog. Oh, okay, good. Well, I mean, how could I know that? It's not like I'm a psychic. Wait a minute, I am a psychic. I should have known that. So what's going on with your dog, Teddy, Laura and Megan? What's going on with him? He's sneaking socks. He's sneaking socks? Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Did you say he's... Sneaking, he sneaking socks? Sneaking so socks yeah. are stocks. Like stocks, like the kind of things that people trade in the stock market like shares of amazon.com or shares of boeing or socks like the things you wear on your feet the things you wear on your feet okay that makes much more sense because i've never heard of a dog who's in, uh, who's gotten indicted for insider trading that would be a, a sad day here in the monkey house okay good teddy the dog is sneaking socks weird and how is he sneaking them exactly by jumping up on the table uh, okay, wait, you keep socks on a table? Like, well, wherever we have them. I see, okay. You don't, like, have a sock table at your house, do you? No. That would be amazing. Wouldn't that be cool, like, if you walked in someone's house, and right inside the front door there was just, like, a long table, just full of every color of sock that you could imagine? <laughs> I mean, no one has that, right? You gotta, you gotta make your house stand out. You know, I've watched a lot of these uh, reality TV shows about, you know, redoing your house so it really stands out. That's one thing that no one ever does, just putting out just every sock that you own on a table so people can just be wowed by your sock collection. Although, Lauren, Megan, your sock collection sounds like it's dwindling. How many socks has Teddy taken? About, like, a million. A million socks. So what does that leave you with? How many socks do you have now? We still get them out, but we still get them from him, but they're a little bit wet. Oh, gross. <laughs> they're not and totally wait, destroyed. Where do you get them from him? Like, just out of his mouth, or does he take them to a certain place and you know where to find them? Usually, uh, we have to um, trick him to make him think that we're going to give him a treat. So he opens <laughs> his mouth, and then the thing is on the ground. I see. I see. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, this is all very interesting, and I think you've told me a lot. Really, we're going to need to hear this straight from the horse's mouth. And by horse's mouth, I mean dog's brain. Is Teddy there with you right now? Yes. Oh, great. Uh, can you have him come up to the phone so I can just talk directly to him? Okay. Teddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here comes Teddy. Great. Hi, Teddy. Teddy, are you there? Hello? Teddy? Is he there? I, I can't hear him. Is, is, is Teddy there yet? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a very suspicious sounding bark, but I'm going to go with it. Hi, Teddy. Teddy, it's it's me, Jack, from Live for the Monkey House. Hey, Teddy. Uh, yeah, I'll just speak to you in English, if that's okay with you, Teddy. 
Okay, so Laura and Megan want to know, what's the story with the socks? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just in the mouth, right. Okay, and then you drop them when they when they give you... Right. Yes. Oh! Uh-huh. Big total sense, but I just want to—I just want to point something out. Look, you're a dog, and I know you don't know this because no dogs do know how to do this. But you know that today's April 24th, right? Yeah, like six months. Okay. Yeah, I'll let them know. Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I guess every day can be. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Teddy. Great talking to you, Lauren. Megan, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, lovely dog. Very uh, suspiciously human-sounding bark there at the beginning, but I'm going—I'm going to allow it. Uh, <laughs> Lauren, Megan, quick question for you. Um, okay, uh, when he takes the socks off the table or wherever you leave them, would you say that that could be uh, uh, considered a trick that he's doing when he takes the socks, that he's, like, playing a trick on you? No, I think he's just doing it to get chased or something. Get, to yeah, get well, attention. Getting attention, sure. Uh, here's the reason I asked, because it was very interesting to me. He, he calls it a trick. Um, he's playing a trick on you, because you know what happens after you play a trick, right? Do you know no. what happens? I'll, I'll give you a hint. It happens at the end of the month of October. Oh, trick or treating. Exactly. Oh, that's exactly it, yes. Yeah, yeah. When you play, you uh, when you walk up to a door and you're trick or treating on Halloween, of course, you say those words, trick or or treat. Laura Megan, have you ever said those words before at someone's door? Yeah. Here, let's let's practice really fast. Here, I'll be the, the doorbell, and I'll open up the door, and then you practice being you on Halloween. Here we go. Ding dong! Creak! Oh, Ding hello creak. there! Oh, 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 look at you two! You, you two are dressed up exactly like, uh, like Hall and Oates from, uh, from the 70s and 80s. Wow, you look just like them! Okay, that was a great role play. That was just like Halloween. Well, Teddy has never gotten to do Halloween before because dogs don't celebrate holidays like Halloween. So what Teddy's doing is he's playing a trick for you, and you said it yourself. He'll drop the sock when you give him a... Tree. Yeah, that's it. See? Prove case closed. The, the defense rests his case. <laughs> so, Lauren Megan, I think what's going on here is Teddy's telling you that he really wants to celebrate Halloween on non-Halloween days. There are 364 days of the year that are not Halloween, and I think Teddy's saying, why not make every day Halloween? And the best way to do that, Lauren Megan, is for you just to start wearing costumes every day. What do you think? Are you up to the challenge? <laughs> um, we might be in trouble at school, though. I don't know. I don't know. If you, I mean, the mask, you can't wear a mask to school. You're not allowed to do that. But who's to say what's a costume and what's a regular outfit, right? I mean, maybe you're dressed up as, like, an Avenger, or you're dressed up as Peter Pan or Tinkerbell or Moana or any other character. My daughter, B wore a Moana dress from Halloween to school today, and it was fine because it was just a dress. She wasn't wearing the wig. She didn't have the amulet. She was just wearing the dress. I think you might be able to pull this off. If you don't bring the accessories, you might be able to wear a costume to school every day for a year. The question is, Lauren Megan, are you up for the challenge? Yeah. I, those are very tepid yeses. I don't know. <laughs> Here's the backup plan. If you don't want to wear costumes every day for a year, then you've just got to treat every day like Halloween at home. You've got to have lots of costumes around for Teddy to wear so that he knows what it's like to celebrate Halloween. What about that idea? Good. Okay, that's better. Sure. If you're not willing to dress up as Halloween every day of the school year, just make the dog do it. That's the secret of being a good parent. If you don't want to do it, make the kids do it. <laughs> Audience, give it up for Laura and Megan in California. Turns out it's Halloween in April, and Teddy, you got a lot of treats coming.